Welcome to a short overview of IAN's online learning. As you work with us online during your course and program of study, we will virtually assist you to develop an understanding of various aspects of aviation in preparation for pilot licensing. Our online learning courses include opportunities for learners to communicate and collaborate with their instructor and with their fellow learners. We walk with you on your learning journey. Our learners engage with their course material and activities, communicate and collaborate with their instructors and fellow learners on any device, anywhere, anytime, any place across the globe. We also provide multilingual menu options for our learners as you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen there, making it easier to navigate the course interface. There are a few ways that we communicate with each other in IONS online learning. First of all, there's the private messaging system. Here you will see you can send a private message to your instructor directly and the instructor can message you through this system. A notification alert appears to the left of the speech bubble when your instructor has sent you a message or replied to you. We endeavour to respond to your private message within 24 hours. At the beginning of each course, we provide you with a course navigation and overview section. There your instructor will post important course announcements to this forum each week, sometimes more than once a week. You will receive notification of their postings via the course announcements forum via email. We also provide our learners with a place to ask any general questions they may have about the course. This forum is checked by your instructor several times a week and they will endeavour to respond to you within 24 hours. Some course sections include topic discussion forums. These forums are open to and can be viewed by all learners. Sometimes we invite you to respond to a question concerning a particular aspect of a topic you are studying. Sometimes we invite you to share your thoughts and experiences. Your instructor will be observing the activity in these forums and will post responses from time to time. We also provide our learners with getting to know each other forums where our learners provide personal introduction and a brief bio around topics such as where you're from, why you've enrolled in this course and your personal goals and aspirations. From time to time, we will meet together in real time in what is called a webinar. Our learners are advised of the date and time of each webinar through my course announcements and will be provided with a meeting room link to click on in each course section. Where possible, it is important that our learners attend these live webinars, but if they can't make it, we will post a recording for our learners to view. We will endeavour to post the recording within 24 hours. All activities provided in this course will assist you with developing an understanding of what is required to pass the final examination. We strongly recommend that our learners complete all activities. The different types of activities prepared for our learners are lesson booklets. These are situated in each course section and provide key information about the section topic. They include a variety of different images, interactive images, diagrams, audio and video files. The lesson booklets are also provided in a PDF printable format in case our learners would like to review offline. Topic video is made available from YouTube and other sources. If viewing through YouTube, you're able to click on the YouTube captions button to see text as you listen. We also provide you with video tours of aviation sites and of aircraft components. As mentioned previously, there are also discussion forums situated throughout your course sections, giving you, the learner, the opportunity to chat with each other and your instructor, exploring course topics, experiences and observations. We will also give you access to aviation diagrams and charts, and sometimes we'll provide you with web-linked articles that are available on the web providing useful insight and information. Your course also includes interactive activities that provide you with real-life situations and simulations. We strongly recommend that you take part in these activities as you work through this course, as this will enable you to check your understanding and preparation for the final exam. In these interactive activities, you're provided with audio and video and a variety of different choices throughout the activities.
Throughout your course, you will find knowledge checks, usually in the form of a quiz, interactive activity, or a mock exam. It's essential that you complete these as your results will assist you with knowing whether you need to go back and review what you've learned to date, whether you need instructor assistance, or whether you feel okay to continue. Sometimes we might give you access to apps, such as the circulatory and respiratory system three-dimensional apps in front of you right now that provides you with viewable diagrams of the respiratory and circulatory system. And there are a wide variety of other activities you will come across in your IAN's online learning course, such as this one here where you have a Padlet activity, checking against another learner's contribution, identifying similarities and differences, errors and omissions with a scenario. Here, we also provide you with reflection activities such as this one, where you're provided with a case study and then you're asked some pertinent questions around it in order to relate what you have learned so far to the scenario and the questions. Finally to say, we hope you've enjoyed your brief overview of IAN's online learning and hope that you'll join us in the near future. We'd now like to invite you to go to our website to view course options and register for the next course. Thank you for watching.